the Lone Ranger, man of love. start today. Last day of our family vacation. Why are you smiling like that? Because I've had a great time. Good. It's been a lot of fun. The, uh, the expedition today, the morals are morale. Morale? Morale is low. No way! Emotions are running high. No! I think the cure is right out there swimming in the river. Like if we can uh, get somebody to catch a fish today, you're gonna see the you're gonna see the tune change. Is that somebody a particular somebody? Anybody. It just if someone, one person out here would catch a fish to start with. I think everybody should catch one today. So I'm going to devote my day to helping ra raising the morale of the troops on the expedition after I catch my fish, which I'm in hopes will raise the morale. No, it won't. It'll just piss people off. It will because you'd be the one everybody expects to have that day happen. Right? Well, monkey in the circus. Maybe you do really well. You seem to know your job. Fish was well. Now I have the time of my life. No, I never felt like this before. Yes, I swear it's a truth. And I owe it all to you. Cause I have the time on the road to the rental trap. They are having a good time today. Did you say rental crap? Or... <laughs> well, if you look at Lon Holden. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> you are terrible! We're trying to do an interview here. <laughs> and it entails the camera. <laughs> okay, you need to ask him a question. Lon, how's your day going so far? Great today. Good morning. Dizzy. I'm so dizzy. Not anymore. I only have streaks left. <laughs> I know. I'm just an old blonde now. So what have you all caught today? A cold? I haven't even caught that. <laughs> Catch your breath. What is your goal for today, Christine? Oh, make it down the river alive. Oh, well, that's a good goal. <laughs> are you sure you are you, so far you you're uh what in your oarsman? Is he qualified? Is he certified? Or just certifiable? Certifiable. Okay. Hey, they're both smiling. And you? I'm smiling. Okay, let's talk. I'm over here putting the putting the hooks for good fishing on Chris there. She needs to catch a fish today. She what? She needs to catch a fish. I know. Both of them do. All three of these people. All four of you people. I don't give a shit if I do. I don't think I actually I'll fish for the day. I mean, I'm seriously thinking of maybe knocking you guys out one at a time, catching a fish putting a rod in your hand and waking you up. How pretentious are you? 
I've caught my fish for the day. <laughs> <laughs> Are you doing this out of these huge fish favors? And if I catch more fish, how's that going to go over with the crowd here? <laughs> I mean, I've done everything, but... <laughs> I told Chris yesterday, I said, if you... If you give him just a minute, he'll take that fish out of his pants that he brought with him. <laughs> she was correct out. I said, no, no, not that not fish. That fish. <laughs> the other fish. The one he bought at the market. I'm on hatchery. What are you doing? in a place where she can catch her fish for the day. Do you have any um, ideas about stopping? Yeah, we're going to go down to Sarah's favorite place. I'm not going to fish there today. And so we'll all have a great opportunity to catch a fish today because Sarah's not going to fish there. I think I'm not going to get there. I ought to be the cameraman. Excuse me? So you guys can all, so I can tape everything you guys do. You don't know how to use a camera. <laughs> You're so nice. Well, since it entails pushing one button, <laughs> I think you can figure it out. But I do know how to fish. You're it's okay. You're okay. Should we make you some kind of gold badge or something? No, I got one. I got my secret citizen badge this morning. That's right, me too. What are you going to do with your secret citizen badge, Berta? I'm tempted to put it on my fly vest. There you go. Secret Dang, citizen. I fished with the secret service and the secret citizen. you got to get your own badge. I am. I'm going to gonna have my... Fishing with this. Hey, we don't need no stinking badges. <laughs> <laughs> You need an earpiece. We need pajamas. Pajamas? Pajamas. Pajamas. Why do you need pajamas? <laughs> I think I'm scaring all the fish with this weird dog. I'm going to try to get below this guy here. Boat of fools. It's not a ship. It's a boat of fools. And you're, you're implying we are?
a love as true as mine. Feels good. Enough to play the motors on this river today to start a Bible camp. Bensky's suffering from sunstroke. <laughs> Every row looks like it's going to be your last. No, I got a few more to go yet. What are you doing now? Making sure no rock to hit so you can fall in. and equality and respect for all. He was sincere, trusted, and with that rich, mellifluous voice, you could tell that he'd treat others the way you'd want to be treated. He valued life. He was so resolute, seldom spoke, and usually he'd ponder a really hard situation just answering, hmm. And when he had to shoot, it was always for the gun of the other guy who'd cry out, oh my hand! He was just so full of confidence in himself, in justice, and the concept of no bad guy should ever go on doing what he does without paying his debt to society. I thought, boy, I'm glad this guy's around, making the country a safer place. The Lone Ranger, man of love. What are you doing? What are you doing? And all 
All our tears huh? have reached the sea. Didn't watch your maracas? Part of you will live in me. Way down deep inside my heart. Days keep coming without fail New wind is gonna find your sail That's where your journey starts You'll find better love Strong as it ever was Deep as a river runs Warm as the morning sun Just like the waves down by the shore We're gonna keep on coming back for more Cause we don't ever wanna stop Out in this brave new world you see I looked all through every rock garden for yours. Okay, ready? What? You gotta cut end it up. Day five. About a mile from the end of our trip. And I've just been informed that Sarah forgot to tell you guys that you were gonna pick up the cab for <laughs> <laughs> no, we had a great time. Everybody caught fish. Chris caught fish. Lon caught a big old fish. Well, I have, I have to, I have to live with him. What do you want? Not yet. Put him out too. This morning, Kensky chased the deer. Strong as it ever was, deep as the river runs, all in all, warm as the morning sun. Would you do this again? I think we need to do this again next month. <laughs> what do you think? Make it a monthly thing. Third week of every month. Just come here. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. And let me tell you, if we went, he'd do it. <laughs> now we're going to go scouting some new rivers next week. So maybe we'll have some new places to go fishing. Lon and I will have to take the, the boat, of course. R&D. Go R&D it all before we bring your girls. We don't want to just <laughs> take you out there and kill you. Uh. Although it's something like the thought hasn't crossed my mind. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get back there? That was a hot fly today. This morning I was a zebra midge. Afternoon was the flash of the yep. Have you had a good time? That's it? That's it? That's it? That's it? That's it? I only have 2,500 words to <laughs> say. I think X. Oh, yeah. I think that's words. education for me to see this river in the summer, I'll tell you what. You've never fished this, at this time of year? No, always in the spring or the fall. I've really? never, never been here in midsummer. Well, in fall was terrible. I don't think fishing is good in summer. No, I... Ready, dude? Yeah. 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 I really think this is good. Yep. I caught one fish on that pan today and everything else we caught on the ups. Just stick him on the yellow seat. Yes, I'm awesome. We're going. <laughs> okay.
Okay, let's go. You ready? You ready? Uh, with the reverse attack. Oh, you don't have to put reel and then another one? You ready? We thought we'd just kind of fish our way out. Take it easy, fish our way to the to the takeout. Then we'll take, we'll, before we load that, we'll flip it up on its side and bale bucket some water into it and kind of clean it up. And, Maybe pee in it for him. Oh, uh, we'll stain it. We'll return it in one piece. But while he's in there duking it out over the whole situation, I'll be pocket knife and all the wraps in the stack. <laughs> And Sarah and two guys working out the parking lot. Two entrances, one parking person. Sarah was working an entrance. And they, another guy was working the other entrance. I had one guy parking. He's supposed to park the whole lot. Nice, neat, double rows, herringbone style so everybody can get in and out. And it got busy. And the guy took a break. And he came back. And he started working the entrances. And by then it's just a disaster. So Sarah went out and tried to straighten the mess up, restart the road and everything. Well, in the midst of this, we have 10 cars that are triple, what I call triple. There's a car in the middle with a car on each side. That car is going nowhere. <laughs> Which means, me, I have to deal with these irate people and stay until everything gets completed. I can't go home in a normal hour. And I come around the corner for one of my other jobs in a company truck and I look down over the hill on the parking lot. <laughs> and I go down there, and, and I knew that this guy named Mike was supposed to be out there parking. And I jump out of that truck and I'm hollering and cussing, going, Who the hell parked this? I could have hired these 18 year old blonde high school girls could have done a better job than this. And Sarah walks out and goes, I parked it. And I just went, Oh no. <laughs> you did this. Oh, why did you put this in front of you? Guys, are they together or what? This is the Hawaiian team over here. Watch this. I'm watching these guys here. Gudson, you haven't given me any cute monologues today. I'd like some. I thought I'd given you plenty. Give me some more. This is the end of our trip. Bird is frantically working on her flies so she can catch that last fish of the great vacation. The bird is fishing, and I'm rowing. Hot pursuit. We're a mile up from the takeout. And it's been a vacation. Actually, I've really enjoyed myself here. It's been a good time. <laughs> I left the whole thing went very well. No one got hurt except for you. Know dream is like a river. Every change I didn't really get hurt. It flows. No. And the dreamer's just a vessel. That's good. That That's follow. Here it goes, trying to learn from what's behind you, and never knowing what's in store, makes each day a constant battle, if not more, just to stay between the shores. I think we learned that you don't want to be here alone. I will sail my vessel till the river runs dry. Air conditioning. Like a bird the <laughs> what do you call this? Oh, party boat. And what do you all do? do you Many times we stand aside and let the water slip away. What we put off till tomorrow has now become today. So don't you sit upon the shoreline and say you're satisfied. Choose to chance the rapids and dare to dance the tide. Yes, I will sail my vessel till the river runs dry like a bird upon the wind. These waters are my sky, I'll never reach my destination If I never try, so I will sail my vessel to the Break it. Did you can do it. <laughs> Thank you, sir. <laughs> Get out. <laughs>